Hey guys, welcome back. It's Joe. Um, so this is going to be the conclusion of what we started so long ago um, when I went to Purdue's Junction and I bought the peppers. When I showed you how to that I make hot sauce in terms of fermenting, and then I gave you an update on what the what the actual fermented jar looks like. Uh, so now today's the day that we're actually going to we're going to make it. So I have a blender here. I have a one of my jars, and I also have these little guys right here, little jars, and that's what I'm going to put the finished product in. Probably fill two for each one, maybe, but I'm not really sure. So, you know, really, without further ado, let's um, let's get sauce in here, okay? Let's get sauce in, okay? So when you break the seal on these fermented jars, those lids come right off. So one thing I have to say that I'm going to do um, is typically you don't want to put all the water in, but I'm actually going to try it this time just to see really how it turns out. So one thing I got to be careful about is I have a glass weight in there. So I'm going to try to pick that out the best I can once it's exposed enough. So so I'm going to pour pour this guy into right here. Look at these little guys. Those floaties don't have any mold, so they're okay. Um, so now I've got most of it out. I can kind of get to the kind of get to the, the glass weight, but not yet. So I'm gonna pour a little bit more out, like so. It's starting to come. Yeah, you heard that, didn't you? See, now it's a little bit more accessible. Um, so I am gonna try to just stick my fingers, and I got it. I got it. Um, you know, don't try to sit home if you're not a professional. Wait a minute, I'm not a professional. All right, so I'm gonna pour the rest of it in here, okay? Get that last one. So now, as you can see, we've got this, This it's ready to get pureed, so. Um, I'm gonna turn this blender on and it's gonna be really loud. So I'm gonna give you guys a couple seconds to like lower your volume, okay? Get puree. Here we go. Isn't that awesome? Now I'm on the puree setting. Okay. Um, now one thing I'm going to do real quick here is I'm going to stop it because there's another ingredient that I like to put in here, and that is a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Yes, I use so much of this. I buy it in in jugs. Um, I'm hardcore people. I'm hardcore. Hardcore. Uh, so my blender lid has like a little cap that comes off. So I can actually do this. Like that. Okay. And very gently I'm going to pour it in there. Now I just, <laughs> yes, I got it at Walmart. I'm blocking the view. Um, no, I did not pour any Trixies on here. So I'm going to start it up again, even though that's not on. And I'm going to start pouring the, the apple cider vinegar in it a little bit slowly. Here we go. See that? You see it trickling in? See that, people? Yeah, isn't that awesome? There it comes. There it goes. Switch back on. I'm just going to let this guy run. I'm going to let him run. I'm going to turn it up so really watch your ears. Isn't that beautiful? beautiful. There it is. That's hot sauce. That is hot sauce. So now I'm just going to take the lid off. And put the lid uh, somewhere that is kind of not dumb, but kind of dumb. So here's one of my little guys right here. Um, now, just one thing to note, I am putting these in mason jars, but I'm not like canning it. So you don't need to be worried about the, the little metal lid that comes separate. Uh, if you're not really familiar with what I'm talking about. So mason jars, their lids come in two pieces. So this guy will actually like seal and once you get it sealed, uh, usually it's, it's a high pressure versus low pressure. So 
you can make this a low pressure region in the thing and then high pressure it's just gonna constantly push down. It's like almost like a vacuum. So then this guy goes on it like so. But uh, we're not gonna do that because we're not canning. Um, so I take this little little concoction here and I'm just gonna pour it. I'm just gonna pour it in here and it's a little liquidy, which I am okay with. Um, I'm okay with the, the liquidy of this because I kind of wanted to get it a little bit more saucy and not as much on the, you know, not like thick. I will make it thick sometimes, but not always. It just depends on what I'm, what I'm looking to do here. Now, I can take, I have xanthan gum on hand. I also have cornstarch if I wanted to use that, but I have xanthan gum. I can put that in here and it will thicken this up a little bit. Uh, I may decide to do that, but, but basically this is, this is my hot sauce. This is one variety of hot sauce. This is Serrano pepper hot sauce. So you saw the beginning, you saw the peppers, you saw me make it the whole way, and now that's the finished product. So uh, quick shout out. Uh, hopefully Julie will share this video. Joyce Sadargas, the joy of nutrition. Um, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more, more pepper videos because... I have more peppers to prep, and I've got a whole bunch of them in that little grow tent back there that are going to go on up my balcony soon. So, thanks for watching, and I love you people. Bye.